Okay, so then the 2009-2010 season comes around, and this is where it gets kind of interesting. Oh, the good, oh, that's the good year. Ah, yes. <laughs> ah, yes. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Okay, so I guess this whole thing started with a card game called uh, Bure. Uh, ba- was it Bure, Bure, Bure. Bure. Okay. So this is a card game that's played in the back of airplanes and locker rooms mm-hmm. by, by NBA players. And I guess it's poker meets spades. Yes. Uh, and, you know, I mean, these games really get out of control where people are betting Rolls Royces (laughs) and the such. Yes. (laughs) And, you know, and they're just trying to ruin you. Like, you know I mean? So you got these guys with these massive salaries playing against guys with smaller salaries, you know, who don't have the amount of money they have and they're just trying to fuck you up and they're trying to, like you said, take your soul. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I guess there was a card game between uh, um, uh, JaVale McGee uh-huh. Am I pronouncing you? Yeah, yeah, Javel. Uh huh. And uh, Crittenton. Uh huh. So tell me what happens exactly. Okay, so it was um, it was Javel, uh, Crittenton, um, or a Boykins. That's who started the game. So yeah. if you think about their contracts, it was a very small game. It was it was a, it was a very small game. We were coming from we were coming from the west, so we were coming probably from. At that time, was uh, it had been probably Phoenix, you know. I've been like so we're so you know so it's a long flight, you know. So you know a game you know twenty dollars a hand, ten dollars a hand is boring. So I sleep, you know. So I'm sleeping. Um, so I how how the, the plane is set up, you know, the cockpit is there, and then you have two chairs that faces the back. And then all the chairs faces the front after that. Then you have a table in between. So it's just a four seater. So my seat here in front of me is Javaris. Next to him is Karan. And then in front of Karan is Oral Boykins. And then there's two seats across is Javel and Dominique. So Javel, because um, because uh, Karan don't leave his seat, Javel has to sit on his armrest onto the table, you know? So that's how they played. So um, like the last 30 minutes of the plane is when I come down and sit. So I, 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 I'm assuming, okay, he was, Javaris was losing money already. Yeah, and, yeah he was losing money already. I'm just gonna be honest. <laughs> you know? How much did he lose? At that moment, he was probably down six grand. Okay, not a huge amount. No, like I mean, for a six-hour flight, yeah, yeah, that six grand is not that much. Yeah, you know, but losing in cars has nothing. It has nothing to do with money. It's the shit talking and the ego. All right, <laughs> so, so I sit, so I sit down. All right, so, so I'm over like, what's going on? Who's who? who who's whose hand is it? So Javel, so Crinton's deal. So Crinton that goes one, two, three. They're going one, two, three, passing the cards, right, and. <laughs> so it's about it's about a thousand dollars in the pot. So I'm like, oh shit, a juicy one, right? Javaris gets booed. So boo means you didn't get a book. So if you don't get a book, you have to match the pot. Mm-hmm. So there's a thousand dollars in there. He gets booed for a thousand dollars. So now he has. To, so Javel cleans up all the money. He gets booed for the thousand dollars, right? So. Javel cleans up all the money. I'm like, damn. So if I was playing, it comes to me. So since I wasn't playing, it goes to Earl. So me being who I am, I'm like, damn, there's a thousand dollars in there. I want that shit. So I was like, hey, I'm in. I want to play. And <laughs> so I want to play. So they was like, well, match the pot. So if you're not in the hand and you want to come in, you have to match what's in the pot. So now I have to take out a thousand, put a thousand in. So now there's two thousand. So already Javaris is pissed because now the odds of him winning his money back is m- makes it a little bit harder. Mm-hmm. So he's fucking pissed off because you go now twenty five percent, right? Thirty three percent, twenty five percent. So so now he's just p- pissed off. Earl Boykins and Javel is having a conversation, and the conversation was, "Yo, hey, can I get my two hundred dollars you owe me?" And Javar, uh, JaVale's like counting his money, like, I'll give it to you when the plane lands. You know the rules. I don't want to give it to you now. And then you, like, I give you a 200 and you start, you know, you, you catch fire and then I lose all my money. We already know how that works. And then he just explodes. 
fuck that, man. <laughs> you got all my motherfucking money over there. Get that man his fucking $200. Huh? What the fuck is your problem? And I'm like, yo, dude, why are you talking to your teammates like that, bro? Yeah. I said, you owe me 200 bucks. You owe Quran 200 bucks. Like, why are you giving a fuck about their 200 bucks? And then that's when the energy came to me. Man, fuck you. He said, uh, it was like, <laughs> it was fuck you. He said, just because you rich, you think you can just come in here and bully motherfucking pots and shit, come in here throwing a thousand when my motherfucking money is in there and I'm, I'm losing. <laughs> and now it's funny. It's funny because <laughs> so it's like, like you're laughing now because now I'm in joke mode. So now I'm just going to sit here and just keep poking. Po I'm just going to keep poking. Yeah. So now I'm dealing the card. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boo, boom, boom, boo. So I'm like, like wishing he gets booed some more. Like, boo. Right. So I flip over my cards and then, you know, everybody has their cards. Everybody's looking in their hand. And I'm like, Earl, how much you want? And he's like, ooh, shit, 2000. Maybe I need three cards. And all he, all you can hear is, whoo hoo. <laughs> <laughs> From JaVale. Oh, yeah. Woo -hoo -wee. Yes, sir. And and Earl was like, yeah, I'm going to fold. So I'm like, all right, JaVale, how much you want? So JaVale was like, yeah, I don't need none. Damn, none? So I'm like, so either none means, all right, you have, you have either three spades and two aces or you're, you're double suited or you just fucking have all spades. Whatever you have, you have a dominant hand. You don't want none. And then Earl, I mean, and then uh, Javaris was like, uh, I want five. Oh shit, Buddhist man. So I, so I go into Bubo because if he gets booed, 2,000 stays back in the pot. So I don't give a fuck about you now. Boo that man. You need five. Boo. You about to get fucking booed, bro. You're going to get booed. So I look at my hand and I have, I, I literally have three spades here. So I have three spades and common courtesy is this. If three people are playing, the goal is if you can't win it, if you can't win it, try to do two, two, one. So two books for me, two books for you, one book for you. The pot stays the same. Nobody wins the money and you add to the pot, right? And then you have the winning mindset. If I can't win and he can win, if I boo you and hopefully you don't get a book, you have to match the pot and the money stays. So there's two ways the money stays, two, two, one, or you get someone booed. Mm -hmm. You know, think about it. If I purposely get you booed, you don't really like me anyway. Right? <laughs> so, so what I do is that I don't want a two, two, one, or I don't want a three, one, one. Three, one, one means he wins the money and then now we have to start this pot all the way over again, which 30 minutes left on the plane, 20 minutes left on the plane. That's not enough time. So I decided to take my three books and I'm out. Now he's livid. Oh, he's livid. Oh, you's a bitch. You's a bitch ass. <laughs> you's a bitch ass. You're, not, you're just going to double the pot and you're not even going to play this motherfucking hand and you're about to get me booed? Oh man, people like you, I rob on the street. Okay. Rob, you rob me on the street. Like, so now we're just going tit for tat, tit for tat, tit for tat. So I get up. So I get up off the I get up off the seat and say, all right, man, I'm going back to motherfucking sleep. Y'all, you broke niggas deal with that shit. So I go back. So now I just hear JaVel and Javar's just going at it. They're, so Javar's like, nah, 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 Gil gotta play. Gil gotta play. He got th he got three spades in his hand. He got to play. What do you? Nah, nah. He's just not gonna get me booed. He's not even gonna know. He's not gonna even do that. He can't do that, right? And ja and and he's like, yo, listen. So Javel gave him an out. Javel was like, listen, I have five spades. I have ace, king, queen, jack, something. You're booed, which means he already lost one thousand. Now he has to put in two thousand the next hand. Mm -hmm. So he's like, nah, fuck that. No, fuck that. So JaVale's like, yo, you're booed. Let me just take the pot and that's it. He's like, no, because he don't want to give up his thousand either. So you're like, nah, Gil got to play. Gil got to play. Gil got to play. So then he was like, 
Gil mucked his hand. Well, then that's a missed deal. Missed deal, he has to match the pot. So he's trying to find all kind of ways. He's trying to find out all kind of ways to not lose the hand and get this back. So the plane landed. I'm not even at the table anymore. I'm not even at the table anymore. I'm laying back down, enjoying my life and shit, laughing from the bay, man. Yo, boo ass, man. Hey, make sure you get that money on, on the next practice day. So I'm just sitting there just talking shit the whole time. So after the plane, he walks up to me. He's like, why are you, like, on some real street shit? You're not allowed to do that. Street shit. What do you mean street shit, bro? Like, stop this shit. You lost. I was like, nah, man, that's fucked up, GA. Nah, you, you ain't going to be a, nah, no. You're not going to do that. I was like, Javaris. Listen, bro, I'll shoot you in your face, bro. I'll shoot you in your face. He's like, well, then I'm going to shoot you in your knee. 